with just typing a few commands in my computer screen i was able to find everyone that was connected to my home network i scanned as many websites that i could i did aggressive scanning i found hidden and unknown posts i also found back doors that could have led to full access of the target system and to put a cherry on top i also found vulnerabilities in some of the ips that i scanned so watch the video till the end if you want to get to do all of this stuff let's get hacking Okay, so to start with the map, I have my Kali machine fired up right here, and we are going to be using nmap. Uh, we just have to access the command nmap dash help, and if we press enter, we'll get all the commands that are uh, related to nmap and that we can use with nmap to perform different tasks. So here, let's take an example. So let's say I want to ping a device that is on my network. Okay, so let's say I want to ping my Mac machine. So right here, let's do if config. And here, if we go up on the EN0 interface, we'll be finding our MAC IP. Yeah, as you can see, our IP is right here, 192.168.1.125. So let's try to ping that, 192.168.1.125. Press enter. And yeah, my Kali machine was not connected to the internet. Yeah, so now let's try pinging. And as you can see, we are getting a reply back. So that means the Kali machine can access the MAC machine. Now let's say I want to ping an entire network. Let's say I want to find out every host that is available or that is on, that is switched on on my network. So I cannot ping 255 networks to check out everyone that is alive, right? So we can use nmap. nmap has a simpler way to do that. So if we just go on nmap dash help nmap dash h, we can find this command right here nmap dash v. This dash V means verbose. I'll explain what it is later. And we have SN. So I'll explain what both of these do later. So let's do nmap. nmap dash V then dash SN 192.168.1.1 slash 24. So this is my network. You can put yours and you will be getting the results of 256 hosts just in two seconds. So as you can see, we got all the hosts that are available and all of these are down down and as you can see in the report below it also is showing that four hosts are up currently in my network so one would be my mac machine which is i think 125 so 137 134 and then we have 125 yeah we have 125 right here so that means that every machine that was available on my on my network it showed me that so now let's try scanning and a website or you can say an, uh, a particular network so to do that we just have to put nmap and then we have to put the name of the website or the server that you want to scan so for me i'm using uh, scanme.nmap.org this is a website that is provided by the people who created nmap for you to scan so i also recommend you to do this and if you have your own website you can do it with that so it will take some time to do this so i'll meet you when it's done boom we got all the net all the ports that were open in that network so let's see what it showed as you can see 97 closed TCP ports and then we have FTP is open, SSH is open, SMTP 25, HTTP 80 just to communicate with the web so HTTP is needed. Then we have border gateway protocol or BGP on 179. So we got all of these ports and this can be very very much helpful to ethical hackers to hack this device or to find uh, recon and to gather information on this device. Next we have a shell scan. But to learn what shell scan does. We first have to understand what TCP is and what a three-way handshake is. Okay, so let's start with an example here. All right, so let's take one person right here and the other person right here. So these people want to talk to each other. All right, so they will use a mode of communication to talk to each other, right? They will have a mode of communication to talk to each other. Let's say they're taking a cell phone and they're talking via a cell phone. All right, so the, it is telecommunication or they're talking in person. So they need a, you know, a, a mode of communication to talk to each other. Right now, let's take an example of two computers. So one computer is right here and the other one right here. If they want to talk to each other, they will use two languages. First is TCP or protocols and the other is UDP. All right. So we'll be talking about TCP. So let's the full form. 
So the full form of TCP is the transfer control protocol. Protocol. All right. So what TCP does is that it basically uses a three-way handshake technique. What is a three-way handshake? Let's see what a three-way handshake is. So we have again we are, we are going to take two computers, one computer here and the other computer here. All right. So we have two computers and I want to make them talk to each other. All right. So they'll use a three way handshake technique. So let's me draw it first. Okay. So first this computer will be sending a SYN packet to this one, a SYN packet. Then this computer will reply back with a SYN ACK packet. Then this computer will reply back with an ACK packet. Let's see what this is. All right. So a SYN packet is basically a synchronization packet. This packet is basically, so let's take this computer as A and B. So computer A is requesting computer B to talk to him via the SYN packet. Then computer B is replying back to computer A with an acknowledgement of the SYN that he sent. So it is basically acknowledging the yes, I got your SYN and yes, I want to talk to you. Then it's sending his own SYN packet to make sure that host A is really alive. Then once host A sends the acknowledgement packet, host B will get to know that yes, this is my guy and I want to talk to him. So this is called a three-way handshake technique. And let's see what stealth scan does now. So we will talking about the stealth scan in Nmap. So it's a stealth scan. So let's see what stealth scan does. All right. So let's take another example to computers. I explained to you what a three-way handshake is, right? So a stealth scan is a bit similar, but it does not complete the three-way handshake. So let's see what it does. So this guy will send a SYN packet to A will send a SYN packet to B and then B will reply with a SYN ACK packet, right? So A got to know that B is alive with this acknowledgement packet and it got its SYN also, but it will not reply back with the acknowledgement packet. So this was a stealth scan. It, it makes it harder for B to check where A is, right? Because A will not be sending an ACK back to B. So we'll get to know everything about B by this acknowledgement packet, but we B will not be getting to know everything about A. So this is our attacker and this is the victim, right? So when the attacker does this scan, the victim does not get to know where the attack came from because the attacker does not acknowledge it. Now let's see what the shell scan really does in Nmap. Now, now we have understood what shell scan is. So let's try that Nmap. We have to do dot S, then bigger S, then we have to do scan dot Nmap.org. So yeah, we need root privileges for this. So you have to do with sudo password was and as you can see it has started and map and if you want to see the percentage of how it is done, you just press enter and it will show you that it is 29%, 35% done. So right now it will take a lot of time, but what does shell scan does it? It normally does the same thing as a normal scan, but it will just be more secure for the attacker or the hacker so that the, the, the target that is to be scanned is not able to discover the attacker. Next up, we have a version scanning command. So let's look at that. So let's go on nmap dash s, then v, then scan red nmap.org. What this will basically do, it will take out the version, the OS information, and everything that is running on this machine, but with the version and the firmware and many more things as well. So now, as you can see, we have got the version of everything that is running on. We have got another this tab that is called version and we have got that SSH is open SSH 6.6 .6. then HTTP is running on Apache, HTTPD then we have got then there's operating system with Ubuntu operating system Ubuntu then we have NPing Echo so we get every all the versions working on the protocols and the operating system that are running uh, on these protocols that we are getting shown like here all the TCP uh, all the ports all the SSH ports all the FTP ports we are getting the version of everything right so this is a very powerful command command in Nmap because without the version, you cannot get which hack or which vulnerability to access for the particular attack. Now let's explore another module of Nmap which is known as aggressive scanning. So to do aggressive scanning, you have to do, do Nmap dash A scan Nmap.org. Now this will take some time and uh, I cannot keep you waiting for that much time. So I'll get to you when it's done. 
So now as you can see we got the results for the nmap uh, aggressive scan that we did. So basically what aggressive scan does, it basically print outs everything that nmap knows about that IP and you don't have to be specific about, specific about what you know. If you just type that dash and capital A, it'll just give out everything that it knows. So it'll basically first it'll show you uh, this these commands. Whoops, yeah. It'll first show you these commands as usual and then uh, it'll also show us the SSH host keys, the RSA key, the DSA key and much more. Then also it'll show us the version that we did uh, like just right now. And it'll also show us the uh, HTTP title, the fav icon and the server that is running. So this is a very important information in order if you want to hack the website and something like that. Apache, we are getting the Apache version and we are also getting it that is running on an Ubuntu. Then again, we are getting all these ports and we are also uh, getting to know that it's an OS, Linux OS and it is running on a Linux kernel, right? So yeah, that's good. Then next we'll be doing, uh, let's see the difference between uh, a verbose scan, all right? So let's clear the screen. And now let's see what an nmap verbose scan does. So if I just ping all of these, yeah. So this is a normal ping scan of this network, right? So if I press enter, it'll just show me the six hosts that are up on that network, right? So six hosts are up and it showed me the six hosts that were up uh, with their uh, report and the host it up and it also showed me the latency. Now, if I will use the verbose command, it will give me much more information about what it is doing step by step. So if I just type dash V here and I press enter, as you can see, it is giving me much more information than usual. And it will also show me every host if it is down or if it is up, right? And in the down part, it will also show me that uh, again, six hosts were up and in this much second and the read data files are shared in this. All right, so it gives much more information about any particular thing. And if you want, you can type this hyphen V command in any command in nmap and it will obviously give you much more information that is needed. And that is obviously good for us. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button down there if you like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you want tech hacking and networking videos every week. I'll see you next time.